Garcia. I am the president and head trainer at FitPro, and I've been training for five years, and I'm certified in personal training with the American College of Sports Medicine. having a tough time, when things are bad, when things are stressful, when I feel weak, when I feel incapable, I keep my fitness strong and that keeps me strong. Now I always say fitness is power, it's not biceps, it's not abs, even though those things are nice byproducts, uh, if you're strong in the gym, you're strong in life, it's an inevitability. It's, it's a form of art. You can sculpt and shape and chisel and train your body to look, perform, or feel any number of ways. And I love to put myself through the paces and try different things and go from running a marathon to ballroom dance to powerlifting to fitness modeling and everything in between. I really love to express myself with fitness and that's when it becomes fun is when you really get into a groove with it and you feel confident and you feel comfortable. Fitness doesn't have to always be hard work even though it is a lot of hard work. Um, I can really get to a point where I enjoy my fitness and how I'm expressing myself with my fitness at the time. You know, like I said, fitness has given so much to me. Uh, it's, it's made me who I am. Strong, dedicated, disciplined, persistent, uh, courageous. And so to be able to teach my clients how to find those things for themselves, there are so few things to me that are as fulfilling as teaching one of my clients to be strong and to find their own power. I always say, if you're gonna do something, you're a zero or you're a 10. You do it or you don't. I'm looking for people that are ready to make a change, they're committed to that, uh, and you know, I don't ask for perfection. I don't ask for people to be perfect all the time, that's impossible, that's ridiculous. I don't expect that of myself either. You have bad days, uh, and you're gonna screw up, and you're gonna miss things, but I do just expect effort and honesty. That's what I really look for. I train the spectrum of people. I train young, and old, I've trained athletic and totally new to the gym, uh, bodybuilders, powerlifters, marathon runners, ultra marathon runners, martial artists. I really do a lot of weight loss. The number one goal in fitness is weight loss, right? But like I said, I can train any goal that's out there. But I like to train people who want to be here. It's very important to me that a client is honest with themselves and honest with their motivation level. Uh, I typically like the people who are really ready to make a serious change because that's how fitness works. It's pretty serious. Um, it's not going to be easy. It's not going to be pretty all the time, um, but it is definitely worth it. So I'm looking for people who are ready for that kind of commitment. I would start with my education. You know, I have a professional background. I've got a law degree. Uh, I'm, I'm well read, I'm well spoken, and so I can connect with people on a higher level. Second, I would say my personality. You know, even though during this interview and in most of the context of training, uh, I'm pretty serious. Outside of those training moments, you know, as we're getting to know each other and spending lots of hours in the gym together, you're going to see my very quirky, very spunky personality come out and we're going to have a lot of fun along the way, you know, we're going to get to know each other and you're going to grow in so many ways, not just with your muscles and with losing fat and getting more toned and all of that. So my personality is definitely fun and interesting. I would say the third thing is, you know, my approach to fitness is different. Uh, I definitely believe in science and facts and textbook academia. 
Um, but there's also a component to fitness that I, I tap into with my clients and with myself every day uh, that is intangible. There's so much more that goes into fitness. Uh, there's a certain mental aspect and spiritual aspect to fitness that is very, very central to my philosophy that I bring into to clients as well. It's not just about biceps and abs. Like I always say, uh, this is about your power. This is about you as an entire being, uh, not just physically. So. I bring in a couple aspects into my training that make it an entirely unique experience. Okay, so my favorite non-fitness thing uh, well, I can't just pick one. Um, I love the travel. I love new things. I love adventures. Um, I love my cats, all of them. Um, I like fast cars. I love coffee, a good strong kick in the ass in the morning. I need that. Um, it's hard to say because I really enjoy fitness because it is so varied I and mean, this is truly my passion. But yeah, I would say a good adventure or my cats. obviously red, uh, the whole company is red. Most of the time I'm wearing red or drinking out of something that is red. Um, red is just intense, um, it's hot, you know, it's, red is passion, red is energy, red is focus. Um, red is just the pinnacle of intensity, which you could say could describe more.